to know the end of the, this one, you need to read all of this. Okay? Unless you have the bidirectional the link to this. Right? So it takes a time to read each end because the pointer of the, this one is in the previous one, like the, this. Instead, if we have the dummy like that, we can use the first one to save the time. So same thing in the uh, link to free space many months, so we can allocate the two. Then the, this head point the next one. And so on. So then we can save the memory space when we have the huge size of the file system compared to the bitmap, the what the bit vector size, the free space management. And also the Linux-based system, the use of ZFS. ZFS has managed some additional data structure, which is called the meta slide. Meta slide is a kind of an extension-based approach. Instead of block by block, so as we have seen the before block, the most of findings multiple block. So, but if we are using the block, it can the, reduce the fragmentation. However, it requires like, several overhead. Okay, like the a lot of I/O. So, why don't we have the logical data structure that group number of contiguous blocks? Similarly, it the extend is a fixed size. Fixed size, the contiguous, the small contiguous, the block, but it's a fixed size. However, the ZF, the meta slide has the something. The disk map is the group of the block, but it depends on the characteristic of the file. It can be larger and the merge it and so on. So that is the uh, GFS. Okay, so regarding to the efficiency and the performance, the, this, so far we have discussed of the basic, operation basic data structure of the file system. Here the, we will talk about the performance, okay? As we have seen the so far, whenever we the, learned about the directory structure or the free space management, and uh, free block management, we talk about the, such a, the efficiency, performance. Then it depends on the algorithm, okay? It depends on the algorithm. So, overall, when I, as I mentioned, the many, many times, so whenever we encounter performance issue, whenever we need to solve the performance problem, how can we do that? One thing, we can use different data structure. So that's the reason that each the algorithm has a different performance. But there might be limitation to solve that problem. Physically, we can address the, such a problem by using the cache. So same thing, file system use the cache. So cache is not only for the CPU or the memory structure, but it's uh, many of the application, many of, most of that use the cache for the uh, performance. So in the file system, we can use the, also the buffer cache, okay? Especially mass data storage system, like the, I, the gave the example of the EMC. The EMC is the a company who provides the storage box. Storage box include actually storage such an expensive storage box. Is uh, if you deassemble such a storage box, like the one million box, the storage box inside is the same hard disk drive as you have in your the personal computer. Really, it's the same thing. Even they do not use a very very high end like the highest IPM. They do not use. Instead, they use the same, the, the general, the reliable, the hard disk drive, and then they usually provide the mirroring and striping for the better performance and the security purpose. <laughs> then, in addition to that, they have the, each box has the memory for the buffer cache. So they, they claim to such a heat ratio, which means the ratio of the read from the memory over hard disk drive is uh, more than 90 percent. Okay. So very high, which means it's a very fast, so it's a buffer cache. Okay. Problem, we talk about the memory map the I.O. The last time, the memory map I.O. also has the page cache. Okay. Memory map I.O. has a uh, it's on the page cache, we have the general file system buffer cache. It's, a, it's called a double cache. 
Do you think double cash is better or worse? It's good or bad? Good? Looks like the bad. Oh. If you do not know the answer, you can say it depends always. <laughs> really, many of the answers depend on the case, but this is not good. Double cash is usually not good. Why? More complicated. We need to manage it. In the page, page is not just automatically return the data, we need to search. Okay? Then, which one is, the, if you cache one data, like the one here, one here is updated by here, but it's updated by here, you need to synchronize. So double cache is always the, the first problem of the synchronization. That means it will be the slow overall performance. So, so in this case, we need to make the unified buffer cache that uh, keep the both the, uh, the general I.O. file system as well as the memory map I.O. So it's a general buffer cache. It's, a, uh, it's called a unified buffer cache. Okay. And also file system. One of the example is uh, if you are using the USB disk drive, I think that I mentioned in the previous class in the database, exactly the same thing. Okay. If you the, took the database class just before, you can sleep. So it is uh, for five minutes, it's the same thing. So it's very, I should record, I, I, I already record, I can turn on. So exactly the same topic. USB drive. So what if, the, if you write the data or the copy the data, submit it, and then do you need, you can the unplug or pull out your USB drive? No, you need to always uh, save, remove the hard disk drive. Why? except the student who took the database class. Why we need to always the, click the safe drive? Because of five, five pointers. Five pointer. pointer. What do you think? Why do you need to save the remote? Always. <coughs> Security purpose, which means if you do not click, it's not secure. Next of the hard disk. Anyone? Close the open files. Close the old file. Why? Link files. Where are they? Resource control. It's in the memory. Okay. So even though the, you write the file or the, you copy the file, sometimes it's a, as we have seen here, there's a buffer cache. It's on the cache. Okay. Why do we use cache for better performance? That means. Unless, until you click the safe limit, not until, but some of the file, uh, the blocks in the buffer cache will be synchronized with the file system, hard disk drive. But not always. So before you unplug the pull out the your USB, you need to confirm the flush out the any change data buffer cache to the here. Okay? That is the reason we need to safely remove. So it's always to do the buffer cache. Buffer cache. Then, the problem is whether we can guarantee the change of the data in the buffer. That is the problem of the recovery. In case of any problem, we should be able to recover. Because the memory is volatile, it's not consistent, the reliable media. Okay? Always uh, so without power, we lose uh, some information. Or sometimes uh, transaction failure, some of the transaction, I'm not going to explain the details <laughs> of the transaction, but uh, I already introduce a little bit about uh, what is a transaction after the synchronization issue. So if uh, the transaction is a fail, some of the data are not consistent. So you need to understand what is a consistent. Consistent means consistently you are sleeping in the class. Right? <laughs> Which means I expect always that this student is sleeping. Then the, I can do something. But sometimes sleep, sometimes ask the question, very nice student, but next time the even cannot answer very, so it's very hard to manage. So database, any, the, any system, they like the consistent of the, your information and data, especially database, the system. Database management system need really good, high, consistent. Otherwise, I the deposit the uh, money, but it's not, if the system is not consistent, where is my money? 
and the, your network should be consistent. Then send the data and the, it should be applied. However, there is no system which is 100% guarantee and perfect system. Always we have the failure. What kind of failure? Transaction level, it can be failed, right? Algorithm level, it can be failed. If your algorithm is not correct. And also, system level. If somebody unplug your power of the system, that happened really a lot in the real the IT department and the management, somebody. So because of that, we, or the, if the power out, what happened? So because of that, we need to have the UPS. UPS is a delivery company. <laughs> On top, whatever, service is a UPS power, whatever. So UPS system. We should have the such a thing. So system is not 100% guaranteed the, uh, the availability, which means it should be recovered. Okay, the five systems should be able to recover such a, any types of the failure, especially it's a transaction level, like the, somebody unplug the, your USB drive, then whether your file system recover your the file. Okay, at that time we can use the idea is just not simple, but answer is just we can use the log data, always keep the log of your activity. So activity is like the, your transaction. Then the, you have the diary every time. I did the soccer game, or the, I did the homework, I did. So if uh, uh, somebody asks what you have done before, the, I cannot, if you cannot um, memorize, the, remember the old, the, what you did before, you can take a look at the, your the diary. Diary does not, the, such a log does not imp the, describe all detail. Just the main part, I did this, I did this. So similarly, log structure has such a thing. Whether A file is copied to the B, or the move, or the delete, such a thing. Using the such a log file, in case something failure, we can take a look at the log, then correct. That is a restore. There are two main operations, which will not be discussed here, but uh, that will be discussed more details of the database class if you cannot remember the, if you already took the database class, so why don't you remind, if you don't, so you will see. So, but uh, I think that that operation and that part will be the major question of the final exam in the database class, not this. That is the read and the undo. In the simply, undo means, undo means, undo is the reverse, right? Redo means forward. So, do it again, right. So. Which means, if the data is, uh, should be one, but it is zero, what do we need? It's supposed to be, supposed to be one, okay? But it shows a zero. We need to do something, okay? We need to do so. At that time, if this one is committed, guaranteed, okay? Then we need to go back, okay? Undo. Otherwise, this one is one, but supposed to be zero, but it's not committed. Okay, we need to redo it again. So that, am I correct? So vice versa. But anyway, so in this class, it's okay. So redo and undo, they will be used for the with the load structure. But this will be very, very critical in the database system. The next file system topic is NFS, the network file system, which I'm not going to uh, the details of the network file system. But the nowadays, network file system is getting more important. So NFS nowadays, is the uh, current version is uh, version 4. It was uh, the problem up to the, when I used the NFS a lot, it's uh, uh, NFS version 1 and 2, they have the, a lot of the problem in terms of uh, security and uh, something, the failure, the recovery, but uh, nowadays it's uh, much better. So it is based on the protocol, like uh, you can, most of them are used the uh, TCP IP protocol, then the, the understand. Then the, some of the architecture use the remote procedural code, so IPC, IPC means uh, the, I have a system, A system here, B system here, then I'd like to create the process, okay? What, what does it mean? When you <coughs> copy, copy command, it's a child process. So child process will be created, run. 
the instruction. What if it's the remote? It's not my server, but I'd like to copy the file from here to here in the local and the remote system. Then where do I need to create the process? It's a remote side, right? So can the, this process be the my child process? No, it doesn't make sense because it's the other family. How can I put the my child in the other family? It doesn't make sense. Okay, instead, we can make the something, the common process. It's called the RPC common process. Then the process receives the request. Okay, copy. Then that process will create a child process. It's a procedural code. Okay, then do the something RPC. So RPC is a remotely the created the procedure. Using the such RPC, we can implement NFS. Network file system, which means it's like the it's a trans it's called a transparent. So it doesn't look like the remote the server, just uh, as if you are using the local server, you can copy. Then that command will go to the remote server and run remotely using the IPC. And not only the IPC, each and every the file, especially the oper depending on the operating system, they use the different uh, mechanism. I'm going to skip the NFS mount. Then, virtual file system cover the, even the NFS. Because as we have seen the before, virtual file system cover the many local file systems, including NFS. So you can even the copy the file from here, remote, to the local. Or you can the combine the file, whatever the operation, through the virtual file system using the common interface. <coughs> like the, this is an example of the, uh, this is one system, this is another system, remote system. And uh, we have, the, as we have seen before, virtual file system has a number of file systems, including NFS. Then this NFS is work with another NFS server using the RPC or the X, the whatever the protocol, okay? For example, the RPC. Then through the behind the network, trans, transfer any the information or data, they are using the protocol level network. Like the, many of them are using TCP IP right now, okay? Which means you should know the information about the, this server, like the uh, port number and the IP address of the, this NFS server. Okay, sometimes you can set up the allow and the deny <coughs> so such a network file system that causes a lot of security or network security. Hole. But then the current version is much better in terms of the such a security. Hole. So from the virtual file system point of view, not much different. There's nothing different behind. Okay, they can copy the file in the local file system, even the same file system. Okay. That is the reason you can, even though you don't know much about the, the di different file system or the, any the NFS, you can still use the same command from your the local file system because of the uh, VFS. Okay. This is uh, just the example of the, uh, the file system. I'm going to skip uh, this part. Okay, so a little bit speed up to cover the chapter three. Good. Then, before we move to the chapter 13, IO management, we will have the quiz for the, this one. This will be the last quiz. Okay.